Welcome everybody to another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your host, Don Juan Sports Adam. Let's get right into it. Week four in the NFL. Man, was it a great week four. And it capped off with a great Sunday night game between the Eagles and the Giants. Now let's get we'll get into those games. We'll get into that game in a little bit. But it's not over, people. Unless you're the Cleveland Browns and maybe the New Orleans Saints, there's still a chance. There's still a slight hope for you. And let's I mean but let's look at some games. Let's focus on some games. First off, the best team in football, I think, or one of the best teams in football, is the Houston Texans. I think they're great. They got good, good defense. I think they got a strong running game, a uh, a great, a good passing game, and a strong defense. They got the three-headed monster in the backfield with Arian Foster, Andre Johnson, and Matt Schaub. If you remember correctly, a Texas team from Dallas used to have a three-headed monster in Aikman, Emmett, and Irvin. So they've got that three. And then they got a relentless defense, which they put on display this weekend, returning two picks for touchdowns. But it is early. They are 4-0. Another 4-0 team I like to talk about is Atlanta. We'll see how Atlanta does. Uh, they tend to choke down the stretch. So we'll see what Atlanta last time. Remember, last time in 2010, Atlanta was 14-2 and and lost to a hot Packer team that went on to win the Super Bowl. So... We'll see. Atlanta, are they for real? I like their defense, but I can't tell you if they're for real yet. They need to do it on another consistent basis. If they get to 6-0, I think you'll see the Cardinals in the playoffs, which then brings you to the other West opponents that they have in Seattle and the 49ers. Speaking of the 49ers, they dismantled, dismantled the New York Jets, dismantled that team, absolutely obliterated them to the point where we shouldn't even be talking about them. That's how bad it is. But that team got murdered, murdered, and it doesn't get better for the Jets. It doesn't get better. They have the Houston Texans, who are, it's a Monday night game, who, for the first time in a long time, are going to be on prime time. You think they're going to want to, you know, not show the world they're, they're the best team in football? They're going to come to play. They're going to come to play. And Jets, you better be ready, because if you're not, it may be another one of those games that you wish you could stay home for. Uh, if you're a Jet fan, you're wondering why they didn't use Tebow. I don't know. You're a Jet fan. Good luck. Good luck. But let's get into that Sunday night game. What did that Sunday night game show me? It showed me that there's two good teams in the NFC East, and I think these two teams, after Dallas's crappy performance on Monday night, will be the two teams that you see fighting for the division. I think the uh, if you're a Giant fan, all you got to say is, we lost by three yards. We lost by three yards. Now, I mean, we can get into the, and dissect it individually, saying that, you know, Eli shouldn't have thrown a pick and all that stuff. But, you know, that's here nor there. One play, they overcame that play, and they lost by three yards. Now, Tom Coughlin has admitted that he also did, um, should have done maybe a five-yard pass to the outside to get a little closer. He admitted that. That's good for a coach to admit that he made a mistake. Let the players know that he is not susceptible and that they're all held accountable. Great job by him. Great job by the Eagles. Played a good defense. They didn't turn the ball over. Uh, they, they stymied the Giants' pass rush in the first half. It looked like it was going to be a repeat performance for the Eagles, but they turned it around. But yet, in the end, in the end they gave the ball to Eli Manning with a minute 51 to go. And if you are a Giant fan, you had to have liked your chances. This game is a, was a good game. It was well fought. And if you're a Giant fan, hold your head up high because you ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. If you're an Eagle fan, you better soar some things up. You can still hold your head high, but soar some things up because you'll find out that it's not going to be easy against Pittsburgh and Baltimore. This has been another edition of the Hurry Up. Before we go, I just want to say one thing. Jay Cutler, you are not a prima donna. You need to stop giving your team attitude, and start being a leader. Don't walk away from your offensive coordinator. Don't push offensive linemen on the, on the side. I can easily see the Bears folding down the stretch and getting rid of this guy just because of his attitude. Jay Cutler. Not cool, man. Not cool. This has been another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your host, Don Juan of Sports. And I'll catch you next time with our Week 5 Picks.